Okay. Something very interesting. Um, I had a very interesting experience right now. So I am studying some pain that I have in my leg and my foot and my lower back. Uh, well, it's actually buttocks and foot and and leg and knee. Um, and I'm studying different stuff like uh, I read John E. Sarno's book Healing Back Pain the Mind Body Connection which I got a lot out of and uh, could definitely feel the connection between the mind and the body literally and and understand more about it and um, I also did research about some word that I don't remember that I'll post here <laughs> and uh, and also different possibilities of what could it help me heal um, like different physical therapists online and I saw this w this video of this woman testimonial to a physiotherapist or a chiropractor in California and she said that there was a connection that they had she's been able to rid herself of lower back pain and Morton's neuroma which uh, I thought uh, was my cause of foot pain for a long time I had all the um, symptoms of it and um, but they couldn't find any neuroma on the MR or x-ray so when I did the ultrasound and uh, they could see some I guess um, tendencies to Morton's neuroma so like a beginning or something so they tried to inject uh, steroids uh, in my foot and it has helped kind of for the last uh, couple of weeks but um, the pain still there and when I did a, uh, like a nine nine and a half kilometer run the other day I felt it in my knee again which I did a, a few years ago which was really bad and uh, it's just it, it's not getting it's not getting um, it's obvious that I haven't hadn't find the cause if that makes sense so now in an in more inspired I don't feel that hopeless because it's kind of getting a little bit better I feel like I'm getting closer to the answer of what the cause can be um, so I'm not feeling that hopeless I'm feeling a bit more inspired and you know with a less cluttered mind and more clarity and good feeling you're able to see things better and see life better and understand things uh, better and learn faster and be more present so I was kind of in all of this sending messages to dip to uh, to uh, therapists and being in the zone trying to figure out this and then I watched this other video this guy talking about John E. Sarno which maybe has been the the approach that I've had that's created the that I've rest, uh, kind of created the best result or that I feel is the closest to truth and uh, what's really going on so I saw his 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 YouTube video um, I actually haven't finished it because I wanted to make this video now but I watched half the video and during that half of that video I kind of there was some dots connecting there that realizing uh, how do I say this kind of understanding how my mind works in terms of seeing things clearly and not and being present or not present and kind of deepening my understanding of presence and understanding of my mind combined with understanding of um, the mind-body connection 
I suddenly kind of uh, had the idea of just pausing the video, sitting down and literally ask myself and kind of um, feel my way to the answers, if that makes sense. But consciously and actually very practically, I just stopped, sat there and it started off with me like touching, let's see, touching my hip here. And then I was kind of like following because I inspired by some other video and they were like touching the buttocks and because there is a, nerve that's going from the lower back to down the leg and if that nerve gets um, what's it called uh, pressured it they, they, the, the nerves can't go through or something you know what I mean but and, and you can kind of like manipulate and fix that but I have a holistic understanding of life and I understand that we are able to heal ourselves and uh, just like in if you were to study seduction or you know dating or if your relationship or personal growth in general um, you can't just like do stuff and, and, and assume that that will fix how you feel if you don't feel good about yourself you know what I mean like so it's more of a holistic life is all everything is connected and it's all just a circle of life <laughs> so it made sense to me to to just go with the feeling and uh, it started off with me like pressing here pressing my right leg and and realizing that I do have what uh, what's the word it's not pain but I can feel it's like I'm very stiff in my right leg and those nerves that that is in my right leg uh, so it's like if someone were to massage my right leg in the in the in the perfect uh, amount of pressure it would be like an orgasm you know it would be so nice um, but if, if someone were to pressure my right leg too hard it would be the worst pain ever and my left leg is like you can you can massage it hard or or soft or too hard or whatever and it it'd be just normal you know what I mean like it's all so it's a huge difference between my right leg and my left leg so I started like touch a little bit and kind of like follow this nerve all the way into the where my leg starts uh, between between my penis and my leg um, so so it kind of felt a nerve thing, okay, and then I was feeling my knee and like, okay, yeah, yeah. kind of like feeling those sensations. Uh, and then as I'm doing right now, and then I was stopping and just feeling where in my body do I feel sensations. So John E. Sarno in the book, he talks about how our bodies will kind of carry emotional baggage for us uh, like if there's emotional tension um, it's it's more beneficial apparently at a survival perspective to put that pain physically into our body uh, rather than have to if we can't deal with it you know what I mean we're kind of um, uh, what's the word like putting it aside just putting put it in put it in there or put it in a tick you know what I mean or put it in um, something that's just a physical thing uh, and 
I think that this applies for not just physical pain, but I think it also applies for stuttering and just like I said, ticks. Uh, look at Bill Cosby when he goes out of the prison or something. You can see that he's just tick tweaking out. And, 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 and I thought about my father. Whoa, getting really emotional. <laughs> really fast. So stuff like that. I was trying to just be conscious and present and I thought about uh, um, bear with me because uh, there's a lot of threads and I'm trying to show you the entire tree <laughs> um, so what while I read the John E. Sarno book, I posted on Facebook about the book and I wanted to hear people's experience of it because my experience was positive and I wanted to hear if I kind of wanted to bulletproof check it. And I got a ton of comments of people who have experienced positive effects of the book. And there was also a, a guy of mine, uh, a guy of mine, uh, acquaintances, a, a Facebook friend that, that um, commented that. Uh, and who he is also into understanding that we're that the mind body connection or the principle of uh, of mind taking form and that formlessness is taking form and that because of that or understanding that you it has to be a literal connection between the mind and body and he commented that uh, what can the pain tell you like for him he had gotten something out of the book but more he got he learned that his pain was tell was giving him something, showing him something, or telling him something, and, and and that he had learned from his pain. So that was kind of like a new perspective uh, that I hadn't considered before. That because I was so cluttered in my pain and so suffering in the 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 understanding that my pain was bad like I can't even phantom the idea of the pain being something useful that you can learn from you know what I mean so that was one of the first steps and I started thinking about uh, that and then I started think like kind of like really asking myself like what are you not seeing you know what are you avoiding what are you what is this um where is it coming from and you know and instead of brushing it off brushing my thoughts off as just thoughts because and they don't matter because they're just thoughts and that i actually conscious consciously looked at my thoughts and actually asked myself out loud as I'm talking right now is it something with this thought and then so what what happened is I was asking myself for example because it, it came thoughts to me that it might have to do something with my family it's uh, or my story or the idea that the, the mind the, the the thinking I have of my family so I asked myself does it have to do with my family and uh, and then just kind of instead of drawing fast conclusions I was feeling what was happening in my body so in my cluttered thinking or in my thinking the last years I've been having I've been thinking a lot about my body <laughs> obviously so I've been putting meaning into my sensations like I, and and when you do that you put a gazillion if you think about something a lot you put so many meanings into that 
thing that you kind of have a, a report a repertoire uh, a full spectrum of um, ideas around what the answer can be so I was when I was asking myself does it have to do something with my family and I thought about my dad and how he after he <laughs> molested uh, my sisters he had or during I'm um, honestly it, it was after uh, he kind of shut down his entire right side of his body and uh, I have no idea how life works I don't have I'm not saying uh, that he did that intentionally I'm not saying he did it unconsciously I'm not saying if there's just random chance and that happened to him I have no idea um, but I have always thought that um, he regretted his uh, actions so much that he um, cancelled his ability to take action that makes sense and it's that has always just been my way of making sense of to seemingly horrible things and how they how karma would balance it out or something so I thought about that and I thought about him dying and me um, kind of the co-creation of my suffering uh, um, in my uh, uh, foot and I've never broken a bone in my body but when I was born I had I broke this well well I have broke something in my body and uh, it's the shoulder blade thing and uh, <laughs> Um, why do I tell you this? I'm sorry. I'm just <sighs> getting there. Give me some time. Uh, yeah, so I thought about my right side of my body feeling like it's broken and that I also have regrets uh, I for example I when I was younger I always said that I would never do hard drugs because I saw my sister uh, misuse them and um, and at the same time I was introduced to cannabis uh, and psychedelics and I had profound experiences uh, in my later uh, in my 20s so and I, so I've had a very confusing uh, story in relation to drugs and also my own quote of quote 
quote unquote success. Like I used to be this result oriented guy who always um, got things done and was inspiring people in that sense and, and got a lot of recognition out of it. And then seeing that results and feelings are not uh, linked like that, um, I started going a completely different path and kind of, you know, um, testing the other side of the spectrum or the pendulum swung to the other side where I was more um, I don't know um, searching in different areas I guess <sighs> kind of yeah so I was um, thinking about my father and how he I've been thinking about he maybe cancelled his right side of his body and then maybe I also experience uh, some body sensations on my right side because of some repressed emotions or anger or uh, regret or uh, self hatred and or not self-respect of not uh, being the successful guy that I was in my early uh, years um, because I do know that I have the power within me to have reached a lot of people to have great influence and to shape and contribute to this world so um, while it, at some point in my life it all felt very aligned my I felt good while uh, working hard and uh, and another time and then later in life I, I couldn't find the same inspiration and then to feel good while at the same time I thought I should work hard because I want to contribute so much so there was but it didn't align like that so too busy minded and too frustrated and too um, self pitying and I've been I was really down there for a while and uh, feeling uh, and, and being depressed is really um, self indulging is the, if, uh, if that makes sense which makes sense because it feels like there's something that's not right and when it all comes down to it you are stuck in this flesh vehicle you're f stuck with yourself so you, it's very hard to focus on giving when your own self don't feel like it's something to give a bull if that makes sense like there's um, when you feel good and strong and aligned and you have a vibrating energy and you feel like everything you like if you you, you feel that you can help someone you feel that you're um, exuberating positive energy and good vibes you can share your vibe easily because you feel like your vibe is contributing then um, that makes sense and that's a line then you can do that whilst when you're depressed and not seeing things clearly and you're busy trying to figure out why the hell you are suffering then you know going from there to trying to help other people it makes no sense because it's like it, it, it would it would feel like you're just pouring shit on other people because you're shit you know and you're like searching everywhere outside inside for some kind of light for some kind of grace so you can so that you can contribute like I do believe that there is 
an innate um, lust for contribution. I feel that, and I, I, I resonate with. I think I believe that. I believe that people really want to contribute. I think that when people feel fulfilled, I think that they feel that they contribute. So the experience I had and where I'm going with this is I, I sat there and I talked to myself and I actually looked my fears into the eyeball the pupil, the iris, and, 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 and asked myself, has it something to do with the family? Has it something to do with my father? Has it something to do with my past and this uh, story that I'm carrying around? Like, what's the story here? Like, where? And, and what else did come up? Um, like, my relationship. Uh, my sexuality, uh, my uh, uh, business sense, my entrepreneur spirit, my my action mode, my finances. I was asking myself, you know, um, what am I not seeing? What am I overlooking? And what am I seeing but not acknowledging? You know what I mean? Like, what am I seeing but pushing away? And and I started noticing small stuff like that. What I just did, that thing, I started noticing those small stuff, you know, like, stuff, small stuff. And I was just sitting there and meditating while asking myself these questions and really listening to my body, listening to my soul, my 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 spirit my my mind my thoughts and being really calm so that i could sense those small notions and i don't know about you but when i calm down and um let the clouds pass and wait I will start feeling sensations in my body and specific ones like tingling numbing in my fuck you finger and, and then I ask myself what does that mean like do I do I have a need to to say fuck the world I'm an, I I I I tell myself I'm an anarchist I'm I I always want freedom and I think I have some kind of authority issues with governments and taxes and and I do believe that we're fit to anyways that's a whole different theme but I was asking myself what's that whole thing and then uh, and then I felt some sensations in my toes and then my big toe and I have a funny tattoo on my big toe which is a camel it's like a camel toe i was 18 and i, I took a tattoo a camel on my toe as a, as a fun thing and um and and then that toe and my this toe uh, which is the kind of the ring finger represents marriage right um, and I was think, uh, and those two toes they have uh, on on me they have um, nail uh, uh, mold, nail mold. It's like a, when the, um, if you're in the shower and there is someone who has I don't know term anyway you know what I mean like the nails uh, they're super fucked up, and um, I thought about that like. Uh, what does that represent? And also, I always looked at my camel toe as a fun thing, and it kind of like matches my uh, background in as being a dating coach. And when I was a dating coach, there was a lot of like recognition and ego boosting around, like you know, getting laid, you know, uh, getting the girl, that whole thing, or getting girls, and uh, just a lot of recognition, which I loved. I was like dancing in that recognition and the, the confidence I got from 
or I thought of that I got from um, being able to pick up chicks basically so um, and having a lot of sex and uh, so uh, you know all those sensations in my uh, in my body that I was feeling while I was <sighs> slowing down I was asking myself what's happening what does it mean like what am I and then it kind of like right now I'm telling you all this it's very personal and while I'm telling it to you it is taken out into the world uh, it's connected so the world will look to me um, brighter or different uh, when I touch something that I haven't touched for a long time this could be something like this So then at one point I even I felt like I got to closer to the core of something and then I felt something in my back lower back on the right hand side I think and now I feel it in my buttocks and thighs and you know you can always feel something in your body so kind of like do this you know slow down um, for me even if I slow down and I focus on uh, I can just place my eyes in one direction and kind of let awareness take over I can pretty much usually I don't know if it's whenever I want or in periods or so, but a lot of times I can start seeing that um, some, some, you know, waves like, like, um, like in Mario Brothers, the trees are waving. You know what I mean? <laughs> that thing, um, kind of just is like subtle. Um, what's it called? Visuals or yeah. So you could kind of see waves or whatever. Um, and if you do this, if you stop and relax and, and go within and um, let thoughts come and go and kind of just zoom out a bit or observe you will might notice the same or something other that feels like a I wouldn't call it a superpower but it when that happens it's like life is telling me it'll be alright, you know, so when I'm, when that's happening, uh, I can more easily dive into the dragon's cave, I can more easily kill the vampire, I can more easily sh look the issue or the because I mean and then I, it made sense to me that well there's tension here and there's tension there because until you look at it Duncan Trussell he said in one of his podcasts I think it was on one of Joe's uh, podcast 
Joe Rogan that is he said that in like thoughts insecurities and um, this contracting feeling or whatever uh, suffering is all like we have vampires in our lives and if we don't uh, take those vampires into the light and show truth you know um, yeah if you if you light truth on those vampires they'll they'll die instantly they it really that's what happened uh, I'm not saying that I'm healed entirely but maybe I am you know maybe I definitely felt that the pain in my um, the pain kind of turned into um, a warm sensation instead of a contracting cold sensation and then five minutes went past and I got cold on my feet and then you know maybe there's habitual thought patterns or thought uh, habitual understanding that kind of so I could see that I could see okay and instead of going completely down in the basement and take make fast assumptions and start suffering again i could see that okay more like that okay like i could see it i could observe it i could um understand it better and um, and then forgive myself for it and accept it and acknowledge it and then maybe even give it some time you know like um, yeah and then the answers came to me I, an answer that came to me is you're ready to you're ready now you're ready to have fun you're ready to spread your wings you're ready to go from the, that cocoon and to 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 drum you know to fly literally <laughs> yeah It's and and when you see things clearly, you start seeing that. Um, you start seeing the patterns in life in a good way. You start seeing synchronicities. You know, my, my sister just became the strongest woman in Norway. <laughs> yeah. And when she won, she screamed. The best scream I've ever seen anyone scream. And I felt that it empowered me um, so much. Uh, and I was also allowed to be strong. Right? Uh, yeah, now I'm just comfortable talking to you. How you been? How's your daughter? <laughs> uh, these are good times.
And also I promise you if you're suffering there is um, light in the end of the tunnel. Not only is it light in the end of the tunnel, but once you see the light, once you understand, you start seeing why you were in the tunnel in the first place or you start seeing how it's all connected and not only just because uh, when you're in the tunnel you can kind of see that you're in the tunnel but you're also angry that you're in the tunnel and you're angry that it doesn't make sense and whether you don't see the sense making at all so you can't even fantasize how that could make sense because it's the worst experience why would that make sense it doesn't make sense uh, but when you start when light, when new waves come and the clouds are disappearing um, you <sighs> yeah hope will take over hope and understanding and truth will will just give you the key, kind of like give you the understanding of why it's been like that. Like for me maybe I needed, I needed XYZ, you know, I needed time with one girl or to fall in love in a different way and I needed time to learn how to uh, take care of my finances, uh, problem solving you know, I uh, needed time to, to, to get my base of equipment up and running. I needed time to uh, perfectionate, per perfectionate or Im improve my editing skills. I needed time to... So, so now all these answers are coming to me because I'm starting to see the light. <laughs> and uh, again... Yeah, and I don't have all the answers, um, but somewhere in me or in this life, Okay. Also, we're hungry, so we're hungry. Okay. 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 Okay.